that final stage where I was doing the colour underneath on a separate layer, I actually did that in Photoshop, mainly because this had to be really, really big. And um, I could have done the, a, a reasonable resolution, I could have done the whole thing on the iPad Pro, but this has ended up on billboards, which means high resolution, which means a lot of pixels. And the iPad Pro isn't quite there yet. It will be, and I can't wait. Um, but I want to show you a little bit about how I did this, because this was the most awesome project I've ever worked on. Um, Here's a close-up of some of the detail. Um, it's heavily traditional style, um, trying to make it look like it's painted with uh, airbrushes. And uh, Drew Struzan is the original artist. He used to do all the 80s posters, some of the best posters I've ever seen. And I was basically studying the way he used to work and trying to channel that into a digital workflow. And th this required about three weeks of development and testing and experimenting, making brushes. All the stuff I was telling you before, before I started working on this for the client, I did all my homework and um, made it so that when they were like, this is what we want, I was able to say, great, let's start. Um, that's the billboard that I'm hoping to see in LA next week. Um, <laughs> I think it's the first piece of commercial illustration that's been done on an iPad Pro that has had this kind of audience. It has to be on a, uh, on a, a bus in in Melbourne, wow. That's cool, man. which uh, like it's like a metro thing, and I keep finding these things on the internet, places where it's ended up. It's the most awesome thing ever. Um, but anyway, this is the workflow that I just showed you. Essentially, I did a, a black and white stage here um, because it helped um, speed up the coloring process. It's actually kind of how how it used to be done in the in the older days. They used to use airbrushes to do black and white tonal work, and then they would just tint it with an airbrush afterwards. Um, so I tried to mimic that technique as much as possible digitally. But it's the same thing. This sketch was done on iPad Pro. Um, the whole thing was sketched on there in layers. I then did the shading work in, in, on there as well to essentially figure out where the focus would be and um, how it would be highlighted to make it look like a good uh, cohesive image. And then once I got to that stage, I exported the thing to Photoshop and broke it up into several layers uh, and treated each asset separately. Um, I want to show you on the iPad actually this, this poster because I actually managed to port it over to hear the whole thing, but that's my website, uh, early July. Um, but that was mainly on figuring out what the story of the poster should be, what characters should be there. It was all sketching. And then a month before um, it was released, they said, go, do the poster. And then we, we settled on the one that got the final uh, layout. Um, so how many people were working on this poster? Um, it's, when I say we, it's, I had an art director that was directing, um, basically translating the ideas that Netflix had. So they would speak to him, and then I would get notes, and then I'd do changes, send it back to the art director, the art director would then send it to Netflix. They'd have meetings for weeks, <laughs> and then, then I'd get a list of changes, and then it, that process happened over and over for weeks and weeks and weeks until they, they, they looked at it, and then I didn't realize they were going to use it. I had a feeling they weren't even going to use it, because there's a bit of a fear of digital artwork and a bit of fear of just painted artwork and advertising in general now because it's an old thing. It's, it's how posters used to be made. But this was an 80s show. It was set in the 80s, so um, it felt relevant. And then they didn't use it. They released the show and they didn't use it. And then a week later they announced it with the, the hosts. So, um, so there was just there was one question in the back. I basically used the lasso tool to cut each layer out, and then using Photoshop, I drew the bits that were missing. Okay, cool. I'm being taken off the stage, but anyway, this is <laughs> this is basically an overview of the layers here, and I can basically just turn these off very quickly just to show you how this thing was structured. You can see that each one of these things is a separate asset. This is condensed. This is me grouping them based on object, but each layer, each object has about three or four layers. Uh, so, anyway, thank you.